be more spectacular. That's all right. It's good. You know, it would be really cool. I hope the culties we were able to recover from fairly quickly, but a lot of people come. I'm a little, yeah. A lot of people. I think we took something like 250 photos, but some of those. Some people bring in this giant tangled mess. And other people are like, Did you see there's one lady that has them in individual ziplocs with like where they belong and their name? And I'm like, Oh my god, that's hilarious. I was at a party last week and this woman had the most beautiful garland strung along her. Um, she's a decorator, so yeah, but, so strung along her um, banister. And I was asking her about it and how she did it. She was like, And then what? Okay, so tell me, what's the gist of Lights for Life? Well, Lights for Life takes the pieces of the old incandescent light bulbs that people turn in, recycles them, and uses that money to give to kids who are and families who are fighting cancer, um, sending them to summer camp, um, just supporting the family in a variety of ways. So it's a really cool way to do something good for the environment by not letting these end up in a landfill and help a kid who um, obviously is struggling with cancer. And it seems kind of logical to bring your old ones in while you're uh, picking up some new ones, right? A absolutely. It's a great way. Um, you know, these are far less energy efficient than maybe a new LED light. So it's a great way to bring them in, get them recycled, and get something new uh, to freshen up your holiday display, or um, just even if they're not working, 